Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Rafael Lente Hero here, back with another video. So, if you're into fitness or you love working out, going to the gym, this pandemic has been a nightmare for you. We are left looking for ways to work out at home and get the same results as if we were at the gym. And one way to do that is have a pull-up bar at your home. So, you go into Shopee, look for a pull-up bar and you stumble upon is heavy duty doorway pull up bar. It costs between 300 pesos and 500 depending on the shop. And you're thinking it's a good investment. So you add it to your cart and then after a few days, boom, you have a pull up bar. But the question that pops into your head when you open it for the first time is how the hell do I put it onto my door frame? Well, ladies and gents, that's what I'm going to tell you in today's video. who I review the products that I have bought and the products that you have bought. I do this to save your time and your money before spending it on these. So if that sounds good to you, subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell to never miss a video. So I also added YouTube chapters recently so that when you're watching a 20 minute video, you can just choose the part you want. So it's not hard for you to find the thing that you're looking for. And I'm going to have new content in this series. I will have a work from home series and a vlogging series. So stay tuned for that. With all that being said, let's hop into the video. Basically, the pull-up bar has four components inside the box. It has the pull-up bar itself, it has the rubber pads, and the screw and the screw attachments. So those four things are what you're gonna find inside this doorway heavy-duty pull-up bar. The goal is to attach the screw, screw attachments, and the rubber pads onto your door frame. And then unscrew the pull-up bar long enough to fit your door frame. That's it. That's what you're going to do. Now this is easier done on a wooden door frame, but if you have a concrete door frame like me, you're gonna need some tools and equipment to help you attach that pull-up bar onto your door frame. So what you're gonna need is a drill with a hammer option or hammer attachment, just like mine. This is my Makita power drill. I bought it at 11.11. You might have seen this on my Shopee haul. You're gonna need this to create a hole and penetrate that concrete. A hammer, a screwdriver, and because we need to make a hole in the wall, we're going to need tops and a screw. And for the screw, you want the screw to be bigger than the hole on your screw attachment. Later, you will know what I mean. And by the way, the tox is already included in the Makita 2-in-1 drill and saw set, so I didn't have to buy one. I already have this. It's this deep of a screw and tox to penetrate the wall so that it really attaches well. Before we continue, I would like to give a disclaimer. I am not a carpenter or a handyman or whatever. So whatever wrong step or fundamental step that I miss, so just uh, let me know in the comments so that I can improve my skills. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna measure your wall an equal distance from the top of the door frame to wherever you want to attach your pull-up bar. So mine was four inches, but you want to be careful about this because not every door frame is straight or leveled. So most door frames are skewed a little bit like this. As you will see in the final result, my pull-up bar is a little bit skewed because the door frame is not straight. So you should use a hammer and a concrete nail to just make a little hole so that your drill bit can penetrate. Your drill bit should be carbide tip so that it can penetrate the cement so you can make your hole. You want to make your hole deep enough so that the tox can fit in. Once you do that, you hold your tox and then you hammer it into place but you don't want to exert much force or else you will destroy the head of the tox. After you drill your hole and attach your tox, it's time to attach your rubber pads onto your doorway and you have to do it in a specific order. So first you put on your screw attachment and then put on your rubber pads and on top of that 
you screw onto the rubber pad really, really carefully until it is tight enough. You do that on the other side. Now you have two rubber pads and now you're ready to unscrew your pull-up bar. And when you unscrew your pull-up bar, you will find that one side is clockwise, one side is counterclockwise. So you just unscrew accordingly until you fit it long enough to put into your rubber pads. And then after that, you're gonna test whether the pull-up bar can hold it, can hold you and your weight. That's what I did right here. And that's how you attach the pull-up bar onto your door frame using a hammer drill and some tools. And I hope you learned something today. As for the bar, I'm very happy with it. It's very sturdy. I already bought this two times. I had one attached in my parents' home. It was a wooden door frame that was a little bit easier to attach, but this time, in any apartment that I am in, it is always a concrete door frame. And it took me a couple of months or maybe half a year to figure it out. But just because I did, it doesn't mean you have to. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you again in another episode.